that we have around here. Let's talk to a stallion first. Need something? I just wanted to know a little bit more about you. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Sounds absolutely fascinating. Anyways, uh, let's continue on searching the wilderness. Looking for clues, looking for survivors, potential allies. Looks like potentially a swampland over there. I wonder what's down there. It's the fastest way down. Oh my. Oh, that was not a good idea. I'm already on low health. It's not my finest moment. Just continue on anyway. Oh, what you're trying to say is you think there might be a secret here. Let me examine this. Perhaps I can push this rock out of the way successfully, but not the result we wanted. Mm, this rock seems to be quite a challenge. What if I... Mm, yes, I switch to... Ah, uh, yes. So, so it turns out I can just click and drag. Yes. Valley on the smartest paladin in the world, and it's oh, it's an ornate chest. Do we have here? Harper's notebook. Everyone knows the Harpers and a map. Very interesting. Let's have a look at this notebook. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Selunite act. Mm, okay. Let's have a look at this map. Stained, ragged map has passed through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers with a small inky crescent sketched in the nearby forest. Below the crescent is a more recent scroll. Cache. Cache sounds like treasure. Oh yes, at this letter earlier that I never looked at. Uh, I love you, Bubalion. You're my. I'm your biggest fan. Yes. Well, <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing, but I, I get these all the time. Uh, thank you, Anna. Uh, I love you too. Um, please keep writing in. I, I, you know, when I'm not slaying demons, I, I'll have a chance to read, but uh, I'm sorry. It took me so long to check this. Well, this Harper map seems to be uh, quite promising. Let's continue backwards to where we were before. Continue exploring. Maybe we can come across this hidden cache. you might find in the bushes. Go. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous even if injured. Best be careful. Oh, Bubalion is always careful. I say the same to you. Maybe you two should stand back, let Bubalion handle this. I have a lot of experience dealing with mind flayers. Oh yes, he does not look very healthy. Starion's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. As much as I agree with you, Shadowheart, I don't know if this is the appropriate Fine. time. What's on your mind? Well, I don't, I don't know. I thought you might say something new, but it appears not. Uh, thank you for that little tip. Anyway, let's deal with this mind flayer. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? I will compassionately step away from you. You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. 
To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to... love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I think I love you. Let me think about you. After I roll this dice. Oh, I'm going to think about you really good. Your mind's views. Lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. This is starting to sound really sus. I'm going to have to resist you. With another roll of the dice. Really have my fingers crossed here. And I'm happy with these results. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Oh, hmm. Something smells. Perhaps you could let me know if there's anything underneath my boot. Oh. Hello, guys. I've got you there. Monster. Death is too good for it. I thought you were talking about me for a moment there. Yes, it is a monster. Let me take its skull, just for my collection. I like to keep the skulls of my victims. Uh, they taught me to do that in Paladin High School. Well, that is one less threat in the world. Rebellion has done a great thing on this day. I have a, a feeling there is a cache in that direction, but it does not seem like we can access it yet. Let's travel back to... Ooh, there's dead goblins, dead goblins here. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. I was already saying that, Shadowheart. Maybe these could be worth something. Some bones, some weapons. What do we what do we have here? Some kind of looks Looks like we have an unstable rune. Yes, I knew Touch that. the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Dangerous? Hmm, I think I should touch this. Oh! Anyone? Yes, Bubalion certainly does have hands. Uh, first, I must ask, though, who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Hmm. I like this deal. I'm a very strong man. I'm very strong at rolling dice. Big bonuses. Lucky I have them, because that would not have turned out well if I didn't. That's it! Go on! Keep pulling! With righteous strength, Ubalion pulls thee! Oh. I'm not a demon. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No apologies required, Gale of Waterdeep. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? Mm. In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Yes, it is I, Bubalion, the paladin from Baldur's Gate. Holy Paladin. And I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Ah, uh, go, go on. What do you mean by that? The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? 
A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As you already know, Pupalion is a holy paladin. I can tend basic wounds, but not parasites. We've established few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Why, oh, I, I like the sound of that, guys. He sounds quite friendly. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It's an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Oh, excellent. Uh, actually, Gale? You're not first in magic, are you? <laughs> of course I am. I'm Bubalion. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Okay, so old people... That are also wizards. How can I help? Well, I just wanted to know a little bit more about you. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Goodness, you're charismatic. I really like you. Please tell me a story. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Well, that is not the answer Bubalion was looking for. It's time to invade your mind. Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swats your efforts away with infuriating ease. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. I'm sorry, Gale. I just wanted another story. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. Yes, I also like him. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Yes, but he's better than the rogue that tried to kill me when he met me. Hmm? Let's not forget that one. So I'm getting quite tired, but the allure of this map. I really want to get through this fog and know my surroundings before I have a rest. In fact, I have not been feeling very well for a long time, but... Very soon, very soon, I think we should set up camp. Goodness me, looking down on this nautiloid. Can't believe. I can't believe we survived. I did black out for a little bit there. I don't know what happened. I woke up. Woke up on the beach. My beloved Shadowheart. Your voices. Mm, I cannot see anyone. I think they're over in that direction. But first, that might be worth a look. Ooh, dirt mound. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. I cannot believe 
Something the matter. But I sorry I was not trying to talk to you, Shadowheart. I'm trying to go over to the edge over there. I cannot believe I left home without a shovel today. It's the first thing they teach you in Paladin School. Don't go anywhere without a shovel in case you find a mound of dirt, because everyone knows mound of dirt equals treasure. Hey, I think uh, this area seems safe enough. I don't know how to rest yet, but let's give it a try. Perhaps a short rest. I can keep going a little longer now. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm feeling a lot better. Rejuvenated. Seems there. See if we can contact these people over here. We get a stereon. Get out of those vines. Game face is on. Follow my lead, friends. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. No, I am not a demon. But uh, now that we have that confirmed, I want to warn you. The ship is full of monsters. And... Uh, if I was you, I would not go near it. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! <laughs> You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. You thought wrong, Shadowheart. Bupalion knows many ways to avoid conflict. The text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Okay, so these must be this must be an alternate entrance to the ruins that we saw earlier, the the big door that we could not enter. Hmm. This is definitely something that we want to explore, but I wouldn't want to forget to check the little nooks and crannies. Hmm. What's that? Damn it. Oh, I definitely do not have a shovel. What about you guys? Does anyone else have a shovel? It's very inconvenient. Please remember where this dirt mound is, guys. I really don't want to miss it. It'll be an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes. I didn't want to talk to you. Just trying to make my way downtown, walking fast. Right past you. Something the no matter. Nothing is the matter. If you're sure. I'm sh no, I didn't mean to send you away. Please stay with me. Do not leave. But I will leave. Hey, okay, let's have a look down. I'm not going to jump and hurt myself this time. Let's do this nice and safely. Mm. Skeleton is very inviting. Tells me this is a safe hatch. So we might be able to pick this lock. I really don't want to commit to entering one of these places without having a better look at the map. I know this is here. This is definitely somewhere where we will return to. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, oh yes, this is... Reminds me of the time I went bushwalking in the mountains of 
Baldur's Gate. So you assume Baldur's Gate is a city, but there's the mountain district. Some recreational climbing there that uh, people allow. If we ever get back there, I promise I will show you all. You can uh, take that to the bank, as they say. Let's finish exploring this nautiloid. Oh, yes, here's a path we have not taken yet. I'll make sure not to burn my little feet. So many different ways to go. Spike trap. Looks like we still cannot access the cache. Those harpers hid it very well. What is this? I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Forget the shouting. It's a shovel. This is what we've been looking for. Okay, stand back. Okay, Astallion, you can stand right in my way if you want. I told you. Chest. Oh, Eighteen big dollar doos. That isn't that much, but uh, hey, it could be worse. Could have been empty. Next person that finds that will find it empty and sucks to be them, but Ubalion will make the most of this glorious prize. Continue clearing the map. That's right, you guys said they were shouting up ahead. I don't... Can I see anyone from the high ground? Hiya! What do we what do we have here? You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved a drawn old squad. So let's leave it. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it to the grove. It's Frog Lady. Guys. You know what we must do. Elminster's not around, so might as well. 